to four. Welcome to the Doug Bailey Radio Show. Here's Doug Bailey. On the phone right now with Phil Collin of Def Leppard. Of course, they'll be in town with Poison at Wells Fargo Arena, 7 p.m. on August 28th. Good morning, Phil. How are you? I'm wonderful, thanks. How's it going out there? It's going very good. Nice weather here. First of all, before we get out of the gates, I have to know, Def Leppard and Poison, two iconic 80s rock bands on the road together this summer. Who made the decision? I think it was an awesome one. Thank you. Um, Actually, we toured with Poison before in 2009, so um, we've been out, we've known the guys forever and ever, and uh, there's a movie coming out called Rock of Ages, so we actually, uh, we wanted a, a band to tour with us that, that was actually had songs in the movie as well, and we, we got three in there, and I think Poison have got three, so uh, yeah, it, it makes total sense that, that, that we tour together, and, and, and we bring Lita forward as well. And I saw the play Rock of Ages, It Rocks, I can hardly great, wait for uh, the movie. Yeah, really cool. And with the addition of Lita Ford, um, I've seen Def Leppard many times. I've seen Poison. I've never seen Lita Ford. Good call on that one. Yeah, you know, you, you have a list. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of it, you, people go, why do you choose this person? And it, it, it was available at the time, really, it comes down to. And um, Elite was, was able to do it. So that's wonderful. And again, we've known her for, for years as well. So it's great. I got to ask. Who goes on first and who closes, or do you rotate each night? No, Lee Everfall goes on, then Poison, then us. You know, it's, it's really the Def Leppard tour, and so, yeah, there you go. So you guys are closing every night. And I'll tell you, you guys are no stranger to Des Moines, Iowa. You've been here the last three times. You've nearly sold out or sold out the venue you've been at. You've been in our state fair a couple of times. And as I've been to those shows, and I am an 80s freak as it is. I mean, when Hysteria came out and Pyromania came out, I was a sophomore and junior in high school. I've seen the generation gap, uh, I, I won't say grow, but we've seen uh, people that's my age down to... Uh, a couple other generations. How do you guys feel about that, seeing multiple generations liking the music, standing up, rocking out to your show? Well, when, when we first you know, put Hysteria out, the plan was to, to reach everyone from 5 to 75. And, you know, that, that we, we joked about it, but we're actually seeing that now. So it's, uh, it's, it's amazing, actually, because that, that was the dream, if you like. So we actually we do see that, so it's wonderful. I mean, what can you say about Hysteria that hasn't already been said? I mean, multiple singles singles multiple times over platinum i mean it's just an iconic album and the the tour this time are you guys going to do anything different on stage as far as songs you're going to play the same songs that um that you played on on previous tours you're going to plug some stuff no, you may not play for a while like just recently like last i think november we played japan and, and we've been used to playing that about an hour and a half and all of a sudden we had to play two hours so we had to add 10 songs you know, over the period of, of while we was in Japan. So, um, yeah, we're going to be putting some of those in, some, some different tracks. And, and uh, you know, we've got the new song, uh, All About Believing, which I'm sure we're going to be playing that as well. Um, so, no, we're going to rotate it. And I, th I think it, we'll have fun with it. Just it's, it's going to be slightly different this time out. On the phone with Phil Collin of Def Leppard, of course, will be in town with Poison at Wells Fargo Arena, 7 p.m. on August 28th. And, you know, Phil... I've, uh, I was looking at your website uh, yesterday, and I saw some of the new pictures. The ladies are going to love you on this tour. Dare I say, you look ripped. How do you do it? How do you stay in shape? Um, I, you know, you, most of it's down to eating right, but, you know, I, I just train as well. And it's, I, it's not crazy training. I mean, I, I do step it up at the moment. I'm, you know, I do a mixture of weights, and then I do Muay Thai kickboxing training and, and stuff like that. So it's uh, just a combination of different things. And we have, we have a kind of a, a routine. It's called physical mechanics. Uh, I mean, my trainer's young Korea. We just we just work this. And every time we go out on tour, it, it works like a, like a charm, no matter, you know, Obviously, I get older each year. I'll be 55 in December, but it, it doesn't seem to make a difference. So, uh, yeah, eat right and exercise. It's, it's, it's not hard. You're aging gracefully. I understand you've been a vegan for, what, going on like 27 years now? Is that correct? Well, I've, I've been a vegetarian for 29 years and uh, a vegan uh, this time around for, for about uh, just over a year. I, I've, I've been in, in and out. and I, the, only, the only thing is, is just dairy products, you know, so it's, it wasn't really hard. It, Chocolate was the hardest one to give up. <laughs> chocolate and ice cream, but uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm a vegan, and it, um, it, it's it's a lot. It's, I guess it, it is healthier, you know, and you feel slightly different. 
like I said, I've been a vegetarian for, for 29 years anyway. So On the phone with Phil Collin of Def Leppard, they'll be in town with Poison at Wells Fargo Arena, 7 p.m. on August 28th. I understand you've also got uh, a new workout DVD coming out uh, sometime later on this year. Will it be out uh, during the tours? It can be out after that, or do you know right now? Yeah, I hope so. And uh, it, it's, uh, again, you know, it's, it's for people who've, who've never worked out before. It's like a three tier system, you know, so it, it'll be uh, a lot of people are intimidated to actually even make the first step. So I think, you know, we, we're just going to tailor it to that and then a regular workout and then an extreme workout, which is, you know, again, what, what we do now at the moment. <laughs> I'm at the stage I'm at at the moment, actually, just going into before the tour. And people can keep checking back uh, at Def Leppard's website or your website. So when that comes out, uh, they'll know that yeah. and they can purchase it and work out with Phil Collin. There you go. Are we going to see... Uh, you, you'd mentioned the new single, but uh, we're going to see uh, like a full album's worth of music uh, sometime in the in the near future, maybe before the end of 2012. Yeah, I think. Um, well, for sure, we, we're going to we have this thing called the Sparkle Lounge, which we, is backstage. We have lamps and a little drum kit, and uh, we, we work songs out. And I think for for some reason, if this stuff's in there, we'll actually go in there and kind of start figuring someone has an idea and, and, and kind of work it. So um, there'll be stuff ready by the end of the year for sure. Do you guys like? I mean, is it better for you to to work out your music and, and do it on the road, maybe spontaneous as such, or would you rather be in the studio, or maybe a combination? of both I think it's a combination of both I mean um, you know my other band man Rays, you know we, we'll, we'll get a, a song a demo and then, then we'll get in a room and, and kind of jam it out we tend to not do that with Def Leppard so I actually preferred I, I actually prefer doing that I think it's better so the Sparkle Lounge will allow us to do that because otherwise it just ends up being totally studio so unless you, you're a genius like say Matt Langer who, who actually knows exactly what he wants and, and can actually uh, go into a studio and say okay we're doing this and, and it, it kind of clicks and works unless you're that guy it, it, it's, a, it's a really it's a hard call once again on the phone with Phil Collin of Def Leppard they're going to be in town with Poison and Lita Ford at Wells Fargo Arena at 7 p.m. on August 28th one final question for you Phil is if we were together and I picked up your iPod and hit the play either on your iPod or your digital music player what would i hear uh the last what was the last thing like, the meters uh what's, what's that thing called that it's the 70s funk thing that was the last thing i downloaded but it's, it's right across the board it's 70s funk it's electronic dance music it's kind of rock it's metal it's, it's everything so you know be my guest i don't know what you'd get actually you know there's nothing wrong i like i like my share 70s music too phil so you yeah. be amazed to see what's on my ipod so what you got on there I've got a whole multitude of things from uh, Elvis all the way, of course, Def Leppard, Poison, all the 80s stuff. I'm an 80s freak, but I like 70s as well. So Yeah, it's great, great. Well, Phil, thank you. We're anxious to get you guys here. Def Leppard, Poison, and Lita Ford will be in town at Wells Fargo Arena, 7 p.m. on August 28th. We can hardly wait to hear the new single as well, so we can hardly wait to see you. Thanks for the time, Phil. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the Doug Bailey Podcast. And don't forget to subscribe to the show on your favorite podcast platform.